Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with a Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. All right, so I know it's been a little bit since I've been on the YouTubes, but I did want to come on here because I have something that I've been wanting to share with you for a while. Now, some of you might know, I recently went to Japan in October and I talked about it kind of nonstop on my channel. I shared several videos about me going, including going to Tokyo Disney and also going luxury shopping. Now, luxury shopping in Japan was something that I was really looking forward to doing and I had a lot of fun. I went to a bunch of different stores in uh, Shibuya and in Ginza and just really enjoyed myself. I really enjoyed looking at all the different styles, especially the discontinued and vintage styles that I really love a lot, which you probably know if you've been on this channel before. I have a huge love for vintage luxury, especially vintage Chanel, vintage Hermes, that sort of thing. And it was really fun to see a lot of the styles in person, especially styles that I really have liked and admired for a long time, but would have never touched or like seen or tried on because I didn't have the ability to do that uh, in, in America. I did make a video before my trip about bags that were on my luxury wish list, bags that I was keeping an eye out for specifically, and it was primarily Chanel and Hermes, uh, vintage Chanel and Hermes, and I actually got to try on some of the bags uh, in store uh, that was on that list. And I'll link that video for you too if you're interested. I'll link, I'll link the luxury shopping video and the luxury wish list video for you if you're interested in watching that before you see the big reveal. But I, I, I had a really good time seeing all these things in person, and now that I have seen these things in person, and I also have a better idea of what I like going forward in terms of like other things that I would like to add to my collection. Like there was one bag that I almost got and I actually, I, I was going to buy it, but I didn't get a chance to return to the store because I had like kind of a slight emergency uh, the day before we left and I had to like spend most of the day dealing with that emergency so I wasn't able to go back to the store and make the purchase that I was planning on doing so it was a little bit disappointing but I did get to make one very big purchase that I want to share with you today. I'm really excited to share it and I have worn this bag already. I really enjoy it and it's it's everything that I wanted in the bag that I was looking for, but it might surprise you in what it is. So I'm not going to waste any time any longer in showing you the bag. So if you have any ideas of what I got, please do leave a comment down below and give me your guesses. But the first hint is that it is in this dust bag. And if you can tell from the dust bag, it is an Hermes dust bag, uh, an older Hermes dust bag, and it is also kind of on the small side. So not to keep you in suspense any longer, I'm just gonna show you what it is. And here's the bag. I think this bag is absolutely beautiful. And I, I'm gonna show you all the little fun details about it, but this is the Alcazar bag from Hermes. It is a vintage Hermes bag. This particular bag is a, um, it's a Circle K, so it's from 1981, which I do greatly enjoy. I like these older bags that are older styles that you can't really, you don't really see them on the market. This is a very unique bag in my opinion, and it is so beautiful. So it's made you know, of this beautiful box calf leather. It's just smooth on the sides. It's got a little bit of a gusset here. And it's got this gorgeous chain, this gorgeous gold chain. And this clasp over here, which is a fun little thing. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah. And so when I saw this bag in the store, so I bought this bag from QOO um, or Q or Q or something like that in, in Shibuya. And I'll leave the address for Q uh, in my description if you're interested in them. They've got an Instagram too, and they do have an online shop. And I tried on, this was one of the first bags that I tried on. Now Q00 or QOO, is set up that a lot of their things are behind glass. Now, some of the other shops that I went to, the bags were on display, so you could just touch them. But Q00, a lot of the bags were behind glass, so you had to like ask to see each one individually and also to look at the prices. And so I was looking at the bags, but this was the, the bag that really drew my eye that I wanted to try on. So I like bothered the sales assistant and I asked if I could see the bag. And I liked it so much because the clasp was really interesting and it had this beautiful chain detail. Now, in my luxury wishlist video, which a little bit of spoiler for it if you haven't watched it yet, I really wanted an Hermes bag, a vintage Hermes bag in box calf leather with an interesting clasp because I think that the vintage Hermes hardware is so beautiful and I, I just really admire it. And it's hard, it's not something that's talked a lot so much as the vintage Hermes hardware, but there are some bags with some just really interesting clasps like the, this is the Codelier, the Sac Basco, the Odeon, the bags that I, I really liked and admired. 
and I really like the Alcazar, but it was a very rare style. I've actually only seen the Alcazar um, in the Dubois, the, uh, the suede version. I've never seen it in the box calf and, and certainly never in person. And I, I saw this bag and I was just like, oh my gosh, look at that. It's so beautiful. I fell in love first sight and I um, got it. I tried it on and I, I did leave it in the store to think about it, but it was on my mind for the majority of the trip and so when it was time to me for me to go back to the stores and make the purchase this was the store that i went to first and this was the bag i went to first and i i'm so happy to get it i still regret the fact that i didn't get the other bag it was a vintage chanel um it was the uh, chanel with the bijou chain uh that i tried on I'll, I'll pop maybe a picture or video up for you um but i i don't regret getting this and if i had to choose between the two I'm glad I got this one. This was actually a better price than the Chanel. The Chanel was listed at 59, five, 598,000 yen, so about $4,000. Um, that is with tax, so it would be a little bit less expensive. It would be after, before. it would be with tax, not included, about 3,500, I think, or 3,700. And this bag was uh, 3,350. And um, for what it is and the condition that it's in and the rarity of it, like I thought that was a very good price. And so I just, I, I did want to be transparent in prices and share that. It was 49, four, 498,000 yen and that was uh, pre-tax and I didn't have to pay tax. Um, so I got it for 4,498,000 yen. So again, about 33.50. I didn't have to pay customs when I came into the States. Some people asked me if I was going to have to pay customs and I fully expected to, which is about 10%, but no one asked and I didn't say anything and then I didn't have to pay customs. So yay. Um, great. <laughs> uh, just to give you some quick details of the bag, again, I wanted to show you this beautiful chain detailing. It is so gorgeous. It's so intricate. Um, it has a beautiful sound to it and the chain itself, I don't know if I'll be able to show you on camera, but it's got these little grooves in them that just, that make them really sparkle. I believe that Hermes, uh, hardware is, um, gold plated as well. So I would not be surprised to find out this was gold plated. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. And like the, the yellowing of the gold also like makes me feel that it is. But the clasp is really what sold me on the bag. Like the chain and the clasp really sold me on the bag. So this is the clasp again. You see how it like kind of pulls out a little bit from the bag. And it's it opens in such a clever way. At first I wasn't sure how to open it and I was like, it feels stuck, but no, it's, it's a mechanism. It's such an interesting mechanism. So basically I'm gonna try to show you as best as I can here. So there we go. So the clasp goes up you hear that click and then it falls forward and then you can open up the bag like that and there you go so um the bag inside is quite simple it's got a little slip pocket in the front and then there's an opening just a regular opening and then there's a zipper in the back the stamp is on the zipper pull that's where the circle k is the zipper works well it's lined in beautiful soft lambskin and again this is box cat leather as you can see it's got the hermes uh, paris made in france stamp so you know that it was made after the 1970s because i started doing the made in france um in uh post 70s um so you know that it's a little bit more modern but not very much this bag is over 20 years old, uh, 40 years old, 20. It's over 40 years old, which I love. And so again, the clasp mechanism is just so cool. So it comes down like this and you can see it here. So if I was to lock it, let's see. And it locks in place. So it like pops up and then comes out. Yeah, it's just so neat. I love the clasp. I think it's so interesting and intricate and gorgeous and there you go. And it's super easy to do. So it's like not futzy. I took this to a wedding fairly recently uh, and um, on, on, on dinner out and it was just, it fit enough. It was very, this fits like enough. It fits my phone, it fits um, on my wallet or my recto verso and it fit like a fragrance and a lip balm and like that's all you really need for a night out or a wedding or uh, going to the theater or something. And it's it's just so beautiful. It does have some scratches on it because it is box cap and it is old, but not that many. Like, look at the beautiful sheen on this. Like, gorgeous, right? It's it's really pretty. 
I um, did make a video a little while ago on box cap leather. If you're interested in finding out more about it, I'll link that video for you as well. It's just what is box cap leather and it compares box cap between like a couple of different brands, Hermes and Delvo, and I tell you about how it's made and what it is. And so if you're interested in finding out more about the leather itself, I'll link that video for you. But yeah, I just wanted to share the, the, the bag and I know this is a quick little video, but um, I thought it was a fun one to like return to with just to just to share it and yeah I, I really love this bag I'm so pleased that I have it in my collection especially that it's like from 1981 and it was like everything that I wanted too it's got like this intricate clasp it's an older bag it's in box cap it's got this beautiful chain like this is this is pretty much everything I was searching for when I was searching for something and I think it's very special and yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'd love to know what you thought about this bag. Um, if you also share in my disappointment that I missed out on the Chanel, like feel free to tell me too. But mostly I I don't want to like dwell on what I didn't get. I want to dwell on what I do have and be grateful for what I do have. And like, this is gorgeous. So I, I really can't complain. And again, between the two, this one was certainly rarer for me to find and it was a better price. So I. I'm, I'm not at all mad that this is the one, even if it was the only one that I ended up with. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, please do feel free to like it and leave a comment down below if you enjoy it. I would super appreciate it. It super duper helps the algorithm. And um, that's my spiel. I just messed it up a little bit, but that's fine. It helps the algorithm. Please do those things. And if you're interested in other videos from me, I'll link the luxury video, the, lux the luxury shopping video, the wishes video, the box up other video, all that as well. Thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you next time.